Have you ever wondered how one Reddit post could send shockwaves through the financial world? Let me tell you a tale about GameStop and its unlikely hero, a man who is known as Roaring Key. On a seemingly ordinary day in late May, GME's value skyrocketed, soaring over 300%, but what caused such a dramatic shift? None other than Roaring Kitty, a regular investor in the platform, had shared his optimistic views on the struggling retailer future. His post ignited a firestorm within the online investing community, leading to an unprecedented buying frenzy. But just when things seemed too good to be true, the winds of change began to turn. Reports surfaced that financial services firm E-Trade was considering banning Roaring Kitty from their platform due to regulatory concerns. And if that wasn't enough, Massachusetts securities regulator Bill Galvin announced he would investigate Roaring Kitty's trading activities. The community reacted fiercely, with some questioning why political figures hadn't faced similar scrutiny for their own potentially suspect transactions. Others voiced their frustration towards E-Trade, labeling them as unfriendly towards small investors looking to make profits. And despite these setbacks, GME still managed to achieve an impressive milestone, a staggering 1,500% increase in value since Roaring Kitty's influential post. However, even with this significant achievement, recent data reveals a concerning trend. Social volume and social dominance surrounding GME are declining hinting at potential waning interest. Meanwhile, the broader meme coin market remained unaffected by GME's dip, continuing its upward trajectory. Major players like Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe, and Floki all showed signs of growth, with 24 hours many posting double-digit percentage increases in the previous 24 hours. And with that said, thanks for joining me on this wild ride through the world of finance and meme culture. And stay tuned for more intriguing stories. Until next time. Oh, and here's a little uh, joke for you. Why don't stocks play hide and seek? Because they always come up trading. <laughs>